Meet Yolanda Renee King. I'm Yolanda Renee King. I'm 15 years old, and I'm an activist and children's book author. Now I'm the granddaughter of Coretta Scott King and Martin Luther King Jr. My grandfather was a man with a dream. He was brave enough to share it and take the risk to make the world a better place. Because I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was one of the most important civil rights activists of all time. He fought for racial equality and justice for all people. I remember I was in fifth grade and there were these first graders that um, came up to me and in their small little first grade kids voice, they were like, um, excuse me, are you related to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? <laughs> I don't think I really realized the significance until I was around nine years old. I would say that's when it really like clicked and that's around the same time that I did March for Our Lives. At nine years old, Yolanda gave her first official speech at the 2018 March for Our Lives protest in Washington, D.C. Hundreds of thousands of protesters gathered to demand gun control. I mean, my whole life I've always been around activism and I've always been concerned about issues from the time that I was three. I was privileged in that I was able to see the activism around me, always hearing about these issues and always talking about them with my parents. I think that's what influenced me to get into it. It was something that I eased into myself. To share her grandfather's message with younger generations, Yolanda partnered with Scholastic to write a children's book. I mean, I always wanted to write a book always fascinated with picture books like and I think that the illustrations are so important I remember when I used to go to book fairs and when I before I really got into reading chapter books when I was really really little I would before reading the literature I would just look at the images I would just stare at the images for five minutes straight and I would go to the next image like trying to take everything in because the image is just fascinated we talk about the ideal world but we don't talk about what that looks like enough. And so I think that this book shows what it will look like. So I see it as a tool of motivation and as a way to get more people and more kids involved in activism. So my advice for kids who are too young to vote but really still want to get involved in political issues and activism is that you can do something. Encourage your family and friends who are old enough to vote to go out and vote. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to my story.